Hello everyone, I'm Ziyuan Zhong, a student from Columbia University. I'm presenting our work on testing DNA image classifiers for confusion and bias errors. DNA image classifiers have been widely used in many domains due to its outstanding accuracy. However, in recent years, it has been reported that it suffers from some undesirable errors. For example, as shown in this left image, it has been reported in BBC News that two black people were tagged as gorillas by Google Photo app. In this red image, uh, as reported in Business Insider, Google Photo confuses between a sky and a mountain. DNNs also tend to show bias. For example, they have been found to be very likely to misidentify a man as a woman when a person in an image is cooking. So as a developer, one wants to identify this error before deploying a model in real world to avoid undesirable consequences. In this work, we develop a detector called DP Inspect that can automatically identify two types of errors, confusion errors and bias errors, when given a trained DNA model and some unlabeled data. In particular, we focus on DNA image classification. There are two types of classification single-label classification and multi-label classification. The difference is shown in this image. As you can see uh, on the left, for single-label image classification, you can only have one ground truth label. In this example, it is cloud, sun, or moon. But as you can see in the right, for multi-label image classification, you can have more than one of such objects in the as the ground truth labels. We study uh, two types of errors. The first one is called confusion errors. For single label classification problem, confusion error is that a DNN tends to mispredict class X to be class Y. As an example, uh, in this image, uh, these cellos are mispredicted as violins. For multi level classification, Confusion error means for an image with class X, a DNN tends to falsely detect class Y, although uh, Y is not in the image. As shown in this example, uh, although a mouse is not in the image, the DNN detects mouse in the image. For the formal definition, we define two types of confusion measures. A single label confusion, which is the average of the DNS conditional probability of mispredicting class X to Y and the reverse, and multi-label uh, confusion, which is the average of the DNS conditional probability of mispredicting the presence of both class X and Y, given only class X, but not class Y in the image and the reverse. We refer these two measures as arrow X, Y in general, and we call a model has a confusion arrow on X and Y if this value is larger than a specified threshold. The second type of error we study is bias error. For single label uh, image classification, uh, bias error means a DNN is more likely to confuse between class X and class Z than class Y and class Z. As an example, in this image, uh, a langer is misclassified to be a macaque. Uh, langer is much more likely to be confused with macaque than a screwdriver. For multi-label, uh, given the presence of class Z, a DNN is more likely to misidentify class X to be class Y than the reverse. As shown in this example, given the presence of the outdoor scenario, a woman is more likely to be misclassified than a man. For the formal definition, we define confusion disparity for three classes X, Y, Z as the difference of the error between class X and Z and the arrow between Y and Z, where arrow can be either single label confusion or multi label confusion. We also define aggregative value called average confusion disparity, which uh, is the average of confusion disparity between X, Y, and each of the other class Z. We call a model uh, has a bias arrow if this value is larger than a specified threshold. This is all good. But when we ask how do we detect the proposed confusion and bias error, here's the idea. For each class X, we find a good class representation fx such that the distance of two class representation 
is inversely correlated with the confusion measure error x1. It follows that for bias error measure, uh, this uh, confusion disparity x, y, z will be proportional uh, to the difference of error x, z and error y, z. So that will be uh, proportional to the distance between f, x, f, z and uh, subtracted by the distance between f, y and f, z. But the question is, how do we get the representation function f? So in our work, uh, we propose a new class level representation. In particular, we use PJI, which uh, denotes the frequency of each neuron J gets activated by input from class I to form a vector representation for class I denoted as rho alpha I. We evaluate our implementation DP inspect on eight models over six popular data sets. We compare it with two baselines, a random baseline and a model inspired baseline, where whenever the second to last layer feature vector of the given DNN for each class as the class of a representation for that class. So uh, here's a uh, part of the result uh, of two data sets. Um, the left one is uh, Coco Gender, the uh, red one is uh, on Cipher 100. This is the AUC easy curve. Uh, as you can see, the yellow uh, line, which uh, is our method, has a much larger uh, area under this curve than the baseline method. Uh, we also uh, take a look the precision recall at a threshold, uh, and it shows that our method has a uh, better precision recall than the baselines um, under both settings. For the bias errors, similar trend holds. So in summary, we define two types of errors for DNA image classifiers, confusion errors and bias errors. We also develop a testing tool, DP inspect, that automatically detects these errors for both single and multi-label classification with decent performance. You can find more details in our paper and release code. Thank you for your attention.